assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we are going to study about the bundled conductors and we will also be discussing about the advantages of using bundled conductors so this is a bundle of two conductors this is for three and this is the four conductors and the distances between the conductors are d now the first advantage of using the bundle conductor is that corona discharges are reduced as we know that uh, the corona discharges occur when we have a large voltage gradient over the surface of the conductor so if the voltage gradient is reduced the corona discharges will reduce voltage gradient reduction and this voltage gradient by definition is the difference in potential gradient across a distance over a conductor surface so if the corona is reduced it means the power losses over the surface of the transmission line are reduced this is the first advantage now for the second advantage we have a reduction in reactance of the line as we know for the from the formula of the inductance l is actually equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 gmd over gmr natural law so this is the geometric mean distance distance between the conductors of different phases and this is the geometric mean radius geometric mean radius distance between the conductors of the same phases and just to uh, keep this in mind these two conductors are of the same phases these three conductors are of the same phases this is a double circuit transmission line and there are these three phases 1 2 3 and it is evident from the figure that these are bundled conductor so this is a double circuit line we will discuss double circuit line later in the remaining lectures so uh, this is the actual figure of uh, a bundled conductor with two conductors bundled three conductors bundled or four conductor bundled so now if we have to reduce the reactance we we have to reduce the inductance as well right so if we want to reduce the inductance then the gmr has to be increased and for the bundle conductor the gmr is automatically reducing how uh, if we take the example of uh, two conductor bundle then if i have to calculate the gmr gmr will be equal to the radius of this conductor that is ds into the distance from the second conductor d and if i have to calculate the gmr with respect to this conductor then it is ds again for this particular conductor and then multiplication with the distance from the other conductor right so this is actually ds square and d square so we can write it whole square and here the power is n square n is actually the number of conductors in a bundle so they, we have uh, two conductors so therefore it will be 4 right so if we'll solve it the gmr will be equal to ds into d now if we compare the gmr of uh, this bundle conductor with a single conductor then the gmr for the single conductor is gmr is equal to actually ds right so ds is equal to r e raised to minus 1 by 4 right so it is evident from these two equations that the gmr of a bundled conductor is more than the uh, uh, transmission line which is only having one single conductor per phase so if the gmr is increased then the inductance will be reduced and if inductance is reduced xl will be a reduced value so if the reactance of the transmission line is reduced the losses are reduced this is uh, the second advantage of using the bundle conductor similarly for figure b we can also calculate the gmr which is further reduced than the two bundle conductor it will be equal to ds into d into d cube and there are three different conductors in a bundle then it is 3 square so the final answer will be ds into d square 
cube. Similarly for this figure, GMR will be equal to 4 square ds into d into d into the distance between the diagonal conductors is under root 2d and the final value will be 1.094 ds into d cube so as the number of uh, conductors in a bundle are increasing the gmr value is actually increasing so this was the second advantage of using bundled conductor the third one is that the power transfer capability of the line will be increased power transfer capability of the line will increase as we know that uh, the power transfer formula of a transmission line is e1 e2 sin delta over xl this is the transmission angle this is e1 is actually the sending end voltage this is the receiving end voltage and this is the line rectangle so if xl is being reduced then the power transfer capability of the line is also increasing right so the last advantage that we are ha having is that surge impedance loading of the transmission line will be increasing so this is actually the maximum power transfer capability of the line when the receiving end load is actually equal to the surge impedance and this uh, surge impedance is actually the impedance of a lossless line so by formula surge impedance is actually equal to under root l over c and sil formula is actually equal to v square over z c this is your surge impedance so by using this formula and bundle conductors we know that the inductance value will decrease but the capacitance value will increase when we will study further in the capacitance uh, calculations we will come to a formula in which if we are using the bundle conductor the capacitance formula will be capacitance of the line will be increasing so if the capacitance is increasing and inductance is decreasing surge impedance will be decreasing and uh, from the sil formula surge impedance loading formula if zc is decreasing the maximum loading of the line that we can have is will also be increasing surge impedance loading will increase when we have the bundled conductors so we will be discussing these surge impedance loading a surge impedance of a transmission line in detail in a separate lecture but just to remember that the surge impedance is actually the maximum power transfer capability of a line or the power transfer of a line when uh, the load is actually becoming equal to the surge impedance and the surge impedance is actually the impedance of a lossless line and the formula of the surge impedance is under root l over c and it is actually resistance and uh, the formula of the surge impedance loading is the transmission line voltage square divided by the surge, surge impedance so if surge impedance is decreasing the surge impedance loading of a line is actually increasing so these are the benefits or advantages that we are having if we are using the bundled conductors thank you